the chances are your flow state is hindered and not using this correctly is your problem <laughs> Chill squad, what it do? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avadon Smith. If you are not part of the chill squad, what are you doing? Today, we're gonna to do a follow-up video with my how to install machine. On that video, we have over 10,000 people who have watched it. And I figured that there are a lot of people who don't necessarily know all the hotkeys assigned to their keyboard when making a beat on machine. And let's face it, not everyone's a finger drummer and not everyone knows how to perform on the machine. So I wanna take in consideration those of you who that applies to and for you who want to make a beat but don't want to be hindered with how the machine software could be a little hard to adjust to this is a great way for you to still maintain your flow state and to get out beats a lot faster all right so there's quite a few things that we could start off with and the first thing we're going to start off with is how to save and that is control s if you're using mac every time i say control it will be command for you now if you notice at the, at the top left let me just do another action you see at the top left of the screen, there's an asterisk right here, right? This asterisk is to indicate to you that your work is not saved. So every time you see this asterisk and you have a significant amount of work done, instead of going to the machine and holding down shift and stretching your hand to press um, save on the machine plus or the machine MK3 or the machine studio, the machine micro, it will be a lot easier to hit control S, boom, done. This will save you a lot of time, in my opinion. And if you want to rename the file, let's just say you don't want to call this King's Domain, which that'll be on the new album coming up. If you don't want this to be called King's Domain, let's say you want to call it King's Domain 2. All you got to do is Control, Shift, and S, and then your window to save it as a new file will come up. And the pencil icon, all you're going to do is press E, and you can basically drag and get the same note that you want a lot easier. But the next one is gonna be undo, which is gonna be control Z. See, if I wanna get rid of it again, press control Z again, press control Z again, press control Z again, all gone. But let's say I changed my mind. Let's say I went back too far, right? And I didn't wanna get rid of, the, rid of the purple pattern. All we're gonna do is hit control Y for redo. The next one we're gonna work on is copy and paste. And let's just say we go to the snare, right? We're gonna hit control C, and then we're gonna go to sound 12, control V. Same way it does anywhere else. This one is not mentioned anywhere else on machine, but these are basic key functions that work. Now, I'm saying these out loud because some of you may not be as verse with the computer, I wanna believe most of you are, but we're just going through the basics right now. So if you know these, sit tight with me because on the next part, there's probably something that you didn't know and it's gonna be super helpful for you. And as you can see, we're still in pencil mode. So to get out of that, all you're gonna do is hit E. Now let's say you didn't want the snare to be on the two, right? You wanted the snare just to be on the four. All you're gonna do is hit Control X and that cuts that out. Or if you want to do another action, you select that and hit backspace, same same result. Another good one is pressing space to play the music. Another is control N if you want to make a new file. So I'm going to discard changes and boom, new file open. And if you want to open back up the other file, just hit control O and boom. Let's say you want to full screen your experience so you don't get this white bar blocking you. All you're going to do is hit control F for the full screen. And let's just say you feel like you don't have enough space to create. And this whole browser is taking up all your space. Type F4. Now, this is where the fun part gets in. Going from ideas and song mode on the machine plus can often be a hassle because you have to hold shift and then you have to go all the way up here with ideas and song and you have to switch between these these two between ideas and song. Right. What if I told you that it's a lot easier by hitting control one for ideas and control two for song? 
You can literally do this on your keyboard. This will save you a lot more time because let's say you go in, you go in song mode, right? And you notice that one of these patterns is off, right? So you go back to control one and you can go through and fix the patterns that you want. Now, here's another one, creating more groups. Usually you just type on your machine. Let's say I just type H right here, right? Now, if you have your machine plus or your machine MK3 or the machine studio, you'll notice that this is all filled out and you would normally have to hold shift and hit group B in order to get a new group of sounds. That could be extremely tiring sometimes to do, especially if you feel like you're in the flow, we get used to it. But what if I told you there's an easier way? You hit control T and you can make that many groups just like that. And now for another one that's not really mentioned is selection. So let's say we want to get rid of all of these new um, group two uh, sounds. So you're going to hold control and click on each one. Hit backspace. Also, if you want to see the mixer, you go control three and control three will show you the mixer. But there's actually an easier way to do this. All you have to do is hit tab and tabbing back and forth will show you the mixer. So that's another easy hotkey for you as well. Another advanced hotkey is to record. You can do this by two actions, actually. You can hit shift spacebar and hit shift spacebar again to turn it off. Or if you have a keyboard that has a numpad on the right side, hit the asterisk and it does the same thing. And this will not only turn a record, but it'll turn a record with metronome so that you can, you know, if you're trying to perform in a machine, you can get the count that you need. Another thing too, if you want to switch between groups, if you hold shift, you could hit the arrow keys and you can go between groups like that as well. Another hot key is if you want to loop a song. So hit the L button and the L will turn on the loop icon. So let's just say you want to loop only this group right here, right? Because you turn on the loop, this right here will loop this entire scene now because you clicked that. Or if you go over here, turn L off, it's not looping anymore. Turn on L, you can loop this over and over again. Again, this saves time. And if you want to restart the song from the loop, all you got to do is hit control space bar. And if you want to do it for the whole song, control space bar, there you go. But let's say you want to go right here. So these are easy hotkeys to remember. If you master these hotkeys, these hotkeys will actually help you speed up your process a whole lot faster than you are normally making beats. Because think about how much time it takes if you accumulate the time all together by having to switch scenes all the time. Those seconds start to add up in your mind and it's so easy to fall out of your flow state. This was to help you to get out of that. If you want to go a little bit more advanced and get into how to do bass lines, I have a video right here that I recently made. This video is very easy for people who are not used to making bass lines. I think it will help you and you should check it out. Let me know what you think.